It's Sunny and Finn's Wrestling and Video Game Podcast. This week we talk about the latest gaming news and releases, as well as the latest goings on in WWE. Which is kind of every episode now that I think about it. Intro! What's up guys, welcome to episode number 9 of the Sunny and Finn Show. I'm Sunny, and with me as always is Finn Steele. Hello! How are you my friend? Very good, how are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you very much. Good, good. Um, okay, so this is episode number nine. Uh, we've got a few things to talk about today, both gaming-wise and uh, wrestling-wise as well. Yep. Um, let's start off as we always do. What are you playing at the minute, my friend? Um, what am I playing? I am playing Dark Souls 3. Um, I'm playing that a lot. Love it, so good. Um, probably the best Dark Souls yet, in my opinion. Um, not so much better than Bloodborne yet. I haven't played it enough to make that decision, but it's really, it's really good. I love, I love being back in that world. How many hours do you think you've put in so far? Uh, I think it's... I went to my safe file, it's about 10 or 11, something like that. Okay. So not, not a big chunk, because I've been wondering about the starting areas a lot, because just just thinking about trying to find things. Um, sure. It's kind of, I'm trying to find like all the secrets and all the NPCs and things, um, which is a lot of stuff like that, a lot of secrets, uh, which I love. And yeah, it's great. I love it. <laughs> um, I, I've played a little bit of it. Um, I've played probably maybe three or four hours. Um, I probably not made as much progress as you did in your first three or four hours. <laughs> um, it is hard. If you've played Bloodborne, I think you'll find it okay. Yeah, yeah, it's it's the same basic uh, gameplay wise. Uh, it's a little bit slowed down, a little bit more to think about um, in terms of like armor and things. Um, there's like a weight limit on armor. Uh, if you have, if you have to too, like, like too heavy, you like slow you down, and you can't roll as fast. Which wasn't a thing in Bloodborne. Uh, I actually prefer personally because it's less to think about it's better. It focus, focus it more on combat, which I like. Uh, what, in Bloodborne. In Bloodborne, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, not to say combat is bad in Dark Souls; it's still great and amazing. Um, but yeah, um, I think at the minute I do pre- prefer Bloodborne. Yeah. Um, that's only sort of because I don't think I've played it enough to. Mm. Um, I mean, I played a little bit. I didn't play the first Dark Souls. Um, my first experience of the Souls sort of thing was Bloodborne. Yeah, okay. Um, I went back and tried a little bit of Dark Souls 2, uh, which I thought was... I, I, to be honest, I didn't, I didn't, couldn't get on with it. Um, yeah. After I played Bloodborne, obviously Dark Souls was last gen. I played the remastered version. Yeah. Um, I don't know. There's something about it I didn't like. I don't know what it was. But um, I've started playing this one, and I really do like it. Okay. Um, I like the pacing of it. I like the graphics. The graphics are amazing. Yeah, it's um, so good. There's an amazing part. Um, so if you go up to the left by a, like a castle, um, and then this massive dragon sort of appears on the castle and starts blowing fire everywhere. Yeah, so good. Um, it was like sort of one of those moments where you you, you like gasp like, yeah. because of how good it was. I hadn't really seen anything like it before. Um, so yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, it was awesome. I also <laughs> shit myself as well because I was like, oh, oh no, I'm surely not going to tackle that. Yeah, so it's, you see like the dead dragon first. It's like, oh, this one's dead. Yeah. And then it's right about, and then all of a sudden it's born that's still alive. It's yeah. Awesome. Um, but it's amazing. Yeah. So yeah, I, I will go. I will sort of stick at it. I'm. Um, I've hit a bit of a a lull at the minute with it. Okay. I'm sort of stuck. <laughs> so I'm, I might get you to have a look. Okay. I'll, get, I'll, I'll give you a hand. I'll walk you through it. Yeah. A bit like blood star beast all over again. You'll do it first time. <laughs> uh, I think it's a boss I'm at actually. Oh yeah. I can't remember either way. We'll we'll, we'll, we'll look. That's yeah. Fine. We'll have a look. I suck at it either way, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> um. What else are you playing? Uh, I'm playing a lot of uh, Shenmue on the Dreamcast. Ooh. Uh, bought myself a dream card recently from a local game shop. Um, bought a copy of Shemmy off the internet, off eBay. And yeah, it's just as good as I remember it. How uh, much did that copy of Shemmy cost you? Uh, £35. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Dreamcast games are so expensive. They are, so especially uh, ones like Shemmy. Yeah. Because uh, Shemmy you can't really get anywhere else. They, they haven't, for whatever reason, they haven't, still haven't released like an HD version, uh, which I think they will eventually before Shemmy 3. I don't think they will. I, don't, no. I think that is never going to happen. I hope it happens. I want trophies. <laughs> I want trophies for it. I just want to play through it again. Yeah. But, um, I, but I, I, like you, I want to play through it with a purpose. I want to play through it with trophies. <laughs> um, but I love the game. I love the characters. Yeah, it's um, so good. I love the world. Yeah. Um, so that's pretty cool. It's, it's like things in that which you don't even see in like games today. It's, if it was forced time for Dreamcast, it's like, completely amazing. It's like, you've got its own like time um, like day and night cycle. Oh, sure, yeah. Every, every NBC does something to say. It's every it's like different. Um, it's just amazing. I like the fact you're like spending the entire day like the arcade to playing like Super Hang On if you wanted to. Yeah, <laughs> like um, throw away money on like little Sonic toys. 
<laughs> and uh, all he eats and drinks all day is vending machine stuff. <laughs> yeah. So it's pretty good with that. Good doesn't, that. doesn't go hungry. Good get a Jack Cola. Yeah. <laughs> so good. I always just go for that pink drink out of the machine. I'm not sure what oh, it is. Oh, yeah. Do you like grape soda? I don't think it is. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't know why. It's not like it's just like I'm drinking it, but I don't know. Yeah. Um, oh, I love it. I, I have so many good memories of the Dreamcast. Yeah, me too. Um, I've glad, glad I got one again. Yeah. So we're going to have to do some sort of Dreamcast Let's Plays. Definitely. Um, we've got a ton of games that we can play. Yeah, yeah. That's um, not wrestling games. Yeah. Mostly bad wrestling games, to be fair. Have you tried them? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's it's bad enough that you can't understand them because they're in Japanese. <laughs> yeah, some of them, yeah. So you're having to guess yeah. the controls and stuff. But, uh, um, it's, uh, I want to play. I played the Red Warrior Rumble. Uh, oh, have you got it? Yeah, yeah. It hasn't aged very well. <laughs> so it's 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 okay for like an arcade game, but... So you yeah. think that's aged badly? You went to you see SmackDown too. Oh yeah, it's going to be terrible. It's aged worse than, yeah. Well, I, I did quite like Raw Rumble as a game. Yeah, I mean, liked it back in the day, but yeah, by today's standard, it's kind of not like it hasn't aged very well. <laughs> Most games haven't. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Shenmue has aged very well. In my you opinion, think it has. Yeah, yeah. Controls are a bit take a bit getting used to, but yeah, that, it's fine. Um, I hope the new one's really good. Yeah, oh, I really hope so. I fear for it at the minute. <laughs> I do as well. A little that, bit. Just, I don't know why. It's, it's just a thing in the back of my mind saying, uh, it could suck. <laughs> it could be like the worst. But I really want it to be good. I mean, they've not released many screenshots for it at the minute, but the screenshots they have, I think Rio looks strange. Yeah, I think it's still like early, 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 early days, like pre pre alpha. So it's, it's too early to say anything yet, I think. Oh, it's miles off for sure. Yeah, yeah. But at the minute, I don't, I don't know. I, I just hope it's really good. Me too. The thing, the thing is, like, the first two games cost. A crap ton of money, way more than they've got on the quick mm. Um So, and that was back then, like ten years ago. Um, yeah, just like that's ooh. the reason that the third one hasn't been made sooner because they're just because it costs so much money. Probably, yeah. I mean, can you imagine how much like Shenmue now, like the first one, would cost to make with the current hardware that we've got? <laughs> yeah, crap ton. <laughs> Crazy. Ridiculous. Anything else? Um, I think that's about it. How about you? What have you been playing? Um. I've been playing a load of Ratchet and Clank. Nice. Uh, I, I I can't speak highly enough of it. Yeah, it looks really pretty. Um, it's released this Friday uh, in this country, I think. So that's the twenty first. Oh yeah, that sounds right. I think. Um, it's only thirty pounds. Uh, I don't know how it's only thirty pounds. <laughs> Bargain. It could justify being a full price game for sure. I mean, yeah. it's not like it's sort of uh, five hours and you're done. Yeah, I bet it's good. It's like. Not all that long, like ten hours maybe, but still, that's a Ratchet and Clank game. A little platformer. What more do you need? That's ten hours if you go flying through the story. Yeah, yeah. Because probably. you can go uh, in the worlds and stuff. You can sort of look for unlockables. There's it's not just a straightforward mascot platformer because there's more to it. You can like uh, upgrade all. You can upgrade your weapons, mm. uh, and they upgrade as you go along as well. So as you use them, they actually sort of level up. That's cool. And there's also uh, like an upgrade system as well. Yeah. So you sort of pick up. Uh, crystals throughout the game and you can unlock uh, you upgrade your weapons sort of that way too which is really cool um, there's you can, there's like these collector cards that you can oh, yeah. collect throughout the game as well I like those yeah um, and they sort of give you special upgrades and stuff as well so you sort of you know you want to spend it may it's like it's one of those games that doesn't feel like a chore to play yeah you know so you know you can spend your time looking for these cards and you know, picking up the nuts and bolts and stuff to be able to upgrade your weapons or buy new weapons and stuff like that. And it doesn't feel like a chore to play because it's so much fun. Mm. Um, and it's easily, at the minute, the best looking game on PS4. Yeah, definitely. Um, easily. Um, and I think it's I think it's my favourite PS4 game at the minute. Yeah. I think it's my favourite game so far on next gen. Cool. Wow. High praise. Just because, I don't know, I mean... You know, you, there isn't many mascot platformers out. I think Knack is probably the only one. Yeah. And I, I did like Knack, but this really blows it out of the water. This Definitely. Is, it deserves the high praise that it's getting from everywhere, not just myself. Yeah, it looks amazing, um, as you say. And I, I do miss, like, platformers, mass three platformers. Mm. Um, I've played a couple of Ratchet Clank games. I haven't played, like, the first three. I'll oh, play yeah, some I mean, of the new ones. I'm not That's a massive... A... I wasn't a massive Ratchet fan going into this. Yeah. Not at all. But um, um, it's not... Because obviously, a lot of people are saying it's like, oh, it's the first one remade. It isn't the first one remade. It, yeah. it, there's elements of the first one in there. Yeah, same like basic story, but like in different gameplay, I'd say. Same basic story, but in the in the I mean, obviously, there's a movie coming out. Yeah, and obviously, uh, that's probably part of the reason that this game is so cheap as well. 
to make it appeal to maybe parents or something more. I'm not sure. Probably. But um, it's... I mean, Ratchet and Clank in the first Ratchet and Clank game weren't friends. No? No. No. And this one, they're friends sort of straight away. Okay. Um, so they changed it up a bit. And it's better because there's not sort of this weird dynamic between the two characters. It's sort of... Um, I don't know, it just makes it a bit more fun. Yeah. Um, okay. The story's very funny as well. It's really well written. Cool. Uh, so Insomniac have really hit the nail on the head with it. Yeah, and for that's thir- awesome. And for £30, and I think it's probably the best PS4 game at the minute. Obviously, Uncharted's only a couple of weeks away, mm. so it could take that <laughs> mantle. It could. But at the minute, it's it's stunning, and it's fun, and it plays really well, and I don't know, I can't praise it enough. Go play it yourself. It's <laughs> so good. Yeah, I'm uh, doing it for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, I advise everyone to. Yeah. It's like, Especially at the price. It's like one of them games that's a, it's a must-play. Awesome. Yeah. Even if you're not like a, a mascot platformer fan, mm. it's got elements of everything that people would enjoy. Yeah. Okay. So go so buy it. It's good. It's, it words. is very good. Um, <laughs> go play it. And also, I've been, I've been, I blew the dust off my Vita. Oh yeah. I've uh, been playing Guacamelee on that. Awesome. Which it's is out, which is excellent. Yeah, I love that game. It's so much fun. Um, that's pretty much it. I've been dipping in and out of a few different things, but I've been mainly casually. Casually gaming, really. I've been sort of playing a bit of FIFA and um, some of the sporty type stuff. Been playing a bit of Guitar Hero. Nice. Uh, live on Xbox One. Um, I need to get back into Quantum Break and I need to crack on with Dark Souls. But yeah, at the minute, Ratchet and Clank and Guacamelee are taking up uh, a lot of my time. Nice. Okay. Yeah. Filthy casual. Yes. <laughs> um, Meanwhile, I'm playing Dark Souls 3. <laughs> yeah, just nailing through Dark Souls 3 and here I am playing in FIFA 16. Is <laughs> uh, there wrong with that? Uh, yeah, to be honest, I've been actually achievement whoring. That's why I've yeah. been playing it. Yeah, nice. I put it on yesterday with the sole purpose of um, sort of unlocking these achievements. That I knew I could do so easily. <laughs> nice. So I just went on and did it. Yeah, uh, to be honest, I did that with Quantum Break. Just like went through. To be honest, I lost them all. Most of them as I, as I was going. Yeah, there's like a few. It is very much like that. Yeah, pretty much. There's three story ones I didn't get, so I just went back and got them. That was it. <laughs> these yeah. achievements, yay! Yeah, everyone loves easy achievements. <laughs> yeah. Um, I got another one on Guitar Hero. I've, been, I've put so many hours into Guitar Hero Live. Nice. But I got like another one. It's like a hundred quick plays in. Use a hundred plays in Guitar Hero TV. Oh, right, okay. But that's some serious hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's a lot of time. I will. I will get that, but I can't justify spending all that money on another. Yeah, another classic guitar. I think it's going. <laughs> I think it's going quite cheap now. Yeah. Depending on what you buy it on. I think if you buy it on Xbox One, it's probably cheaper than if you buy it on PlayStation. I don't know oh, why. Right, okay. There's no technical specs that are any different between the two. Yeah, you have to use a little USB stick for the side of your Xbox One to make the guitar work. But okay, um, it's worth picking up. I've had a lot of fun with it. Yeah, it looks really good. That's one of the few things that annoys me about the Xbox One. Is why has it only got one port on the side? <laughs> it's, it's got it's got one in the back, hasn't it? Yeah, but I can't really get to the back of my Xbox. Oh, and it's yeah, like course, and on, yeah. I've just got my like um, headset headphones thing and these plug into USB thing. And if one side of the controller, I need to plug that in as well. It's like I, I can't because there's only one USB thing. Oh, does your headset not plug into the controller? Uh, no, I've got like a different one. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay. But uh, it's annoying. It, it bothers me. That's a lesson for <laughs> buy headsets that fit into your control pads. Yeah. Also, um, they, put, they put the game on the other side of the case on Xbox One games. Like, wh- why? What's wrong with the other side? Why do you need to be different? Uh, it bothers why is me. it bothering you? I don't know. It's just... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, I don't know. I'm very nitpicky like that. It's just... You go to get the game. It's like, oh no! You should die. be kind to Xbox. They tweet us a lot. <laughs> they do, yes, they do. Yeah. We do, we do love your Xbox. You just put your disc on the side of the case. I don't it. know why it bothers him. It doesn't bother me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I look forward to us getting a uh, the, getting the tested by Coke anyway. But uh, for uh, what? What do you mean? It's like a black. It's a nondescript black can. Yeah, and books them as well. Drink water. <laughs> it's it is. I sell it in Coke. I think Coke Zero is okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're okay. I've <laughs> um, got a bit of gaming news. Okay, great. Um, love gaming news. Love gaming news. This is a big one for me because I'm really looking forward to it, but Mafia 3 has a release date now. Nice. Uh, it's coming out of October the 7th. Sweet. Okay. okay. I like the second one. Uh, the second one's awesome. I never played the first one. Everyone says it was good, but I think it was like a PC game. Yeah, I think so. I never played it either. Yeah. Um, a little bit about Mafia 3. Uh, the game's set in 1968. Lincoln Clay, the protagonist, is out for revenge after his surrogate family, the Black Mob, is betrayed and wiped out by the Italian Mafia. Cool. That's a very main character name, Lincoln Clay. Yeah, it is. <laughs> he probably <laughs> looks proper generic as well. I think probably. Sort of him. He's like, like, this, like a skinhead. Like and, a bold army dude. Yeah, basically. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah in fact, he's, he's come out of the army and it's 19, <laughs> 1968. Yeah. Oh, God. Can't so get he's, more generic. Yeah. He's, he's, he, the, he's set in a town called New Bordeaux. Right, okay. 
Um, in America somewhere, presumably. Yeah, I think so. I guess. <laughs> Either way, I'm really looking forward to it. Yeah, um, sure. I like the last one. Yeah, it's great. It isn't perfect by any stretch. No, it's, it has problems. It's a bit empty. Open it world is empty. Wise. I thought that. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it was it was a kind of great story and really great story. Fun gameplay. So I like the car customization mechanics that were really oh, yeah. and stuff and and the upgrade system was good and I like. I mean, I'm really excited to play the new one. Oh yeah, me too. I'm right, sure. Awesome. Um, yeah, well, our uh, our new mascot <laughs> Squid Hub <laughs> is. Uh, Helping us out with all of our USB needs because uh, this uh, MacBook that I have it only has two USB two USB ports. Yeah. Uh, so we've got a camera obviously rolling because you know here we are. You can see us doing some talking, <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, obviously we've got USBs and crap everywhere. So pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a weird one. Um, Destiny obviously, which is still going. People are still really hammering it. Great. Uh, apparently there's a new update coming out this year okay. another, another new expansion so obviously we've had the Taken right. King and um, House of Wolves and the other one <laughs> yeah yeah <That's> <laughs> apparently it's getting a new big update it's just had it's April free update oh yeah okay um, which I think adds a new raid and some stuff like that cool so some eagle eye destiny players have found um, what could be a, a leak or like a hint towards a September release for the new expansion. Okay. It's weird because I read the story and I was like, it, it sounds like Bungie have planted it. So it's like a Reddit user right? Um, called something, anyway. Mr. Um, Bungie. Yeah. I don't know. It was, um, it was apparently a character that's on a Grimoire card in the game. Oh, right. Okay. If I'm wrong, and I've read this wrong, I'm sorry. Um, but um, it's got like a, a Latin phrase on the back of the Grimoire card. Which um, sort of says twentieth uh, of the ninth month, twentieth day of the ninth month. It is coming. Oh right, okay. Um, Interesting. Destiny players, and if you are one, you know what you're like. <laughs> um, they've gone, well, you know, they've taken it to the next level and sort of gone hunting around for these clues and <laughs> yeah. shit like that. Awesome. So apparently, that is pointing to the next part of the Destiny expansion. Cool. Okay. Uh, I haven't played it in a while. I do still have it installed on my Xbox One. Cool. Uh, I do still like it. I put it on for like an hour the other day. Oh, yeah. yeah I mean, it's, yeah, I, I liked it. I just was a big fan of like uh, having to replay stuff over and over again. I was like, I've said before on the podcast and like I would, I would like to get you addicted to it and I was not a big fan of that. Like, is that why you've sort of sat the division off now? Uh, yeah, because it, it's yeah. Division is basically the same thing. It's basically it's copy paste of of um, Destiny. Destiny it is. Different, different setting. That's part of the reason I haven't gone back to the divisions um, since the April update came out. I haven't played the Incursion yet which is the Division version of a raid. Yeah. Um, I haven't gone back and played it yet. Uh, I will at some point. Yeah. Um, because I love the game, but really I have no interest in replaying any of the main missions just to sort of farm the game and yeah. get Phoenix credits and all that sort of crap. I'm just um, the missions weren't interesting enough for me to go for me to go back and do it. Yeah. Same here. Um, it is addicting though. It is. It is. It's a, it's the addic- addicting in a bad way because it gets I actually want to like get. Uh, the best gear so oh, I want to be just as good as everyone else or better than everyone else I want to be the best and keep playing the same mission over again and get this, do a yellow yellow gear or whatever it is <laughs> uh, yellow is high end isn't it yeah yeah, yeah. that's uh, yeah. not a big fan of it but. I mean to be honest I mean um, if you just if you're just wanting to play it to 100% of the trophies it's, I think it's easy enough to do yeah it's, it's relatively easy yeah, there's a lot of hours involved in it yeah because obviously it's collecting phones collecting missing agents and all that sort of stuff but it's doable I mean I've got um, like nearly 70% of the trophies from just playing through the game. Yeah, yeah. Sort of doing stuff, you know, there and thereabouts. But um, I can see why you wouldn't want to go back to it. Same yeah. with Destiny. Yeah. Um, if I'm going back to one, I'll probably go back to Destiny first because mm-hmm. that's like more interesting setting and it's newest, been newer stuff added since I've played it last. It's really so. good now and it's it's pretty as well. Yeah, I've I, I had to improve it a lot. So mm. we'll see. Yeah, I, I'm going to suck. I'm going to go back to Destiny before I go back to the Division as well. Yeah. So yeah, I mean that's that little bit of news anyway surrounding the possible release of uh, another Destiny expansion coming this year. I don't know cool. whether you'll have to pay for it again or whether it's part of the season pass. The 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 DLC structure of that game was it's baffling. Fuck from day one. <laughs> yeah. It's like they <laughs> like it, it works out cheaper to buy the whole game again the, with with all the expansions. Season pass, yeah. Yeah, and then just to buy the season pass, buy the expansion separately. It makes no sense yeah. to me because uh, there's literally no reason for me to have the game anymore. Because like. I'm like, if I'm going to buy the expansions, I'm going to have to buy it with the game anyway. So yeah. I'm going to just get with the game and 
Yeah, you are <laughs> right. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You yeah. might as well just get rid of your base copy of Destiny. It's always on sale as well at the minute. I think it's on yeah. sale on Xbox One now. Yeah, I think like, I think I traded it in for like three pounds. My copy of Destiny. Yeah. That's, that's how much it's worth. Probably by that time, they maybe brought the Taken King out. Yeah, I think all these went out by then. So yeah. Like, yeah. What's the point? Yeah. Um, okay, so um, not officially uh, so released yet, <laughs> but um, <clears throat> on its way, it would seem. Outed by Peggy, which of course is the ratings board for games uh, this side of the pond. Peggy 12. Yeah. <laughs> this will be Peggy 12 nice. as well. Um, Batman uh, Arkham Collection, oh, so, yeah. which collects Batman Arkham Asylum and Batman Arkham City. Cool. Um, not Arkham Origins. Oh, right, I think okay. that probably Weird. has something to do with um, the fact that it wasn't made by Rocksteady. Yeah. It's t- it was, it was made else, by Warner Brothers Montreal, I think. Yeah. It wasn't as good. It wasn't, but I enjoyed my time with it, though. Yeah, it was It was fine. It's still Batman. I That's another it. thing I'm playing through. I'm actually playing through the Blackgate on PlayStation Vita at the minute. Oh, yeah. I've got it on 3DS, but I wanted to get trophies. So yeah, yeah. I bought it on PlayStation Vita. <laughs> it was like 10 quid or something. But anyway. Nice. Um, what about, are you interested in playing these these two games again? Um, Asylum, sure. Um, I really liked Asylum. Uh, probably my favourite one out of all of them. Mm-hmm. Um, still haven't played Night. You haven't? No. I need to get on that. Yeah, I'm waiting for like a like a game of the year edition, uh, with all the like, DLC and stuff. Is it not there already? Have they not brought that out yet? I don't think so. No. Oh right, okay. You, buy it, you can still buy it on PSN with like the season pass, but it's like seventy odd quid. Yeah. I'm not paying that much for it. Um, I bought the season pass, and to be honest, there isn't. I mean, the content was good. Um, it was the the arc of episodes were short. Yeah, and that's right not out. very. They have trophies. I mean, that's one of the reasons. Yeah. Tons of new costumes for um for, you know for Batman, Robin, Nightwing, Catwoman. Uh, I'm a big Batman fan, so I sort of went straight in all in for yeah, it. Yeah, but cool. um the last thing that came out for the season pass was uh, was quite substantial. It was sort of it added to the main game. Oh, yeah. So it added sort of um how because you haven't played the game, it's sort of difficult to explain. But yeah, yeah. um it's like a this. wheel with missions in the game. Okay. And it adds more to that wheel. All so right. It adds four new bad guys. Season of, of Infamy, it was called. All right, okay. Um, but it's really good. So it has like Killer Croc, Mad Hatter, and two others. That sounds cool. More bad guys sounds good. But, but do go and play it. It's really good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but wasn't, I, I wasn't... Uh, I liked City, but I wasn't the biggest fan of it. I think it was a bit too much to do, if that makes sense. Like too many Riddler trophies, and it's, everything's like... Kind of looks the same. Well, so then you aren't going to like Night, then? Yeah, I don't know. Riddler trophies are even worse on this one. Are they? <laughs> insane. <laughs> However, like um, everyone gives the Batmobile a hard time. I don't know what they're talking about. Yeah. Like, it's so good. Yeah, it looks fun. I don't know. People are stupid. <laughs> yeah. Whinging for no reason. That's, <laughs> I think a lot of it was like they just jumped on the bat, uh, the Batmobile hates bandwagon. Yeah, probably. Like, fuck the Batmobile. <laughs> stupid. Yeah. Just run around. No, yeah. don't just run around. No. It's good. But anyway, uh, so it's called Return to Arkham, um, okay. the Batman Arkham Collection. Uh, I'm excited to play through um, Arkham Asylum and Arkham City again because I love both. Yeah, I mean I played through Asylum again. I thought I like people like Asylum the most because it's like more contained. It's like uh, everywhere is unique and you like it's called, sort of kind of like Metroidy and you get more abilities which let you go to different places. Um, like like enhanced grappling hooks that you pull down vents or something, mm-hmm. and you get to higher places and different places like that. Which I'm a big fan of the city. You can just kind of go anywhere you wanted whenever. They kind of killed it a bit. I, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna disagree with you. To no? be honest. Okay. I just thought, I thought City was a really deep sort of. Uh, that that's the best of all of them. City is, I think. Okay. I love Asylum, and I love, um, I love the look of it, and I love the the Joker story that comes with it. Yeah, it's always good. Um, but it, I, I thought City was excellent. Okay. And I'm excited to play through both again. Yeah, um, I'll probably get it on Xbox One just because my PS4 backlog is horrific. <laughs> Same. So um, I'm excited for that. Apparently, this hasn't happened, I don't think, but apparently pre-orders were going to go live April the 19th, which was yesterday. Oh, right, okay. I don't think it has because mm. it still hasn't been officially announced. I don't know why when these things leak, they just go, right, forget it. We're just Here it is. It's coming out. <laughs> yeah, that's You great. know it's coming out already before we've even told you, so here it is. Yeah. Um, and apparently the game's coming June 10th, so not that long to wait. Cool. Okay. This has been uh, threatened for a little while. Yeah. Um, it, it, didn't, it didn't surprise me. I, I would imagine the Mass Effect thing will happen as well at some point later this year. 
Um, I was saying with Bioshock, the worst kept secret in gaming at the minute, the <laughs> yeah. Bioshock collection that yeah. still hasn't been officially announced. <laughs> yeah. At least I don't think it has. I don't think so, no. no. What are you doing? <laughs> so have to do we it. know it's coming out. <laughs> yeah. You don't need to fool us anymore. You don't have to have a big unveiling. No. Jesus. <laughs> so yeah, Batman Arkham Collection, June 10th. Um, cool. Gears of War 4. Okay. Uh, which is an Xbox One exclusive. Not announced for Windows 10 yet. Which okay. is good. Yeah, Keep yeah. it that way. Yeah, yeah. why not? Um, that's coming October the 11th. Are you excited for that? Meh. Um, I like the first two. I think there's quite a bit of friend. Uh, back in the day, wasn't too... Didn't, I'd have the third one. Bought that second hand a few months, few like years later after yeah. it came out. Uh, still haven't played it. <laughs> um, just go and buy Gears of Water Edition for like 10 quid and get the others free. Yeah, true. You can do that. Mm. But I don't know. It kind of lost its appeal to me because they're all kind of the same thing, if you know what I mean. And I've seen like gameplay of the fourth one and it like still looks the same as it did <laughs> on the first game. It'll be so much prettier though. Yeah, I guess. That said, actually, I've been playing through, uh, me and a friend of mine have been playing through Gears of War 2. Mm. And it really holds up. Yeah. I mean, gameplay-wise, it's fine. It just, I don't know. Looks-wise, it looks fine, too. Yeah. yeah. I, th- I, I am looking forward to it, just because I've done the others. All cool. of them. Like, even Judgment. Yeah. So, I've played... If, if you, I, mean, I mean, if you're investing in, like, the story and all that in the, in the world, then, yeah. Yeah. I'm sure it would be good. Yeah, I, th- I think it'd be cool. Um, This one's... Go- so, there's a new Ghostbusters movie coming out. Okay. Okay. Um, Which looks... <laughs> it's, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. Um, the uh, Activision have announced, <laughs> of course, <laughs> didn't see this one come in, um, a new Ghostbusters game. Oh, okay. Uh, comes out 15th of July, which I think is the exact same day the film comes out. Right, okay. Don't quote me on that because I'm not 100%. Um, it doesn't include the old cast or the new cast. It's a fresh batch of new Ghostbusters. Right. And apparently the game takes place after the movie, after the new movie. Okay. So you don't have to worry about spoilers. Great. Which is good. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, because movie games are crap. Yep. Most of the time. <laughs> Mostly, yeah. Most of the time. So, although this is to coincide with the movie, it's not about the movie, so you're not playing like a loose, shitty version of the story. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm not sure what it is. I've, I've watched the gameplay trailer in it. It There's aspects of it that look sort of like a top-down twin-stick shooter, but then there's other aspects of it that look like an action RPG, sort of behind the shoulder. Okay. So I can't tell you the the, the and the trailer doesn't make it look good. Yeah, uh, I mean the fact that it's coming out so soon that we haven't seen anything other than like a short trailer makes you think it's not going to be that great. Um, I think it'll probably be a downloadable game as well, not a full release. Yeah, I, I would imagine so. I hope so for its own sake. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else have we got in here? I have made notes unlike last time when there was no notes. <laughs> oh, um, this is a big one actually, but they haven't again nothing officially announced. I imagine it will be saved for E3. Okay. But the leaked map for Red Dead Redemption Two. Oh uh, yeah, I saw that. Does this excite you? Uh, yes, Red Dead Redemption One was great, um, uh, amazing. Uh, yeah, let's get back into Red Dead Redemption. Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever it's going to be called. Um, it could be called Red Dead Redemption 2 I imagine probably uh, but yeah uh, great more, more of that would be great because I, I heard that they're bringing the first one to backwards compatibility for Xbox One okay so I that imagine that that will be announced around the same time they'll go the, what they'll say is like that when they announce it at E3 probably in June um, that's when it is isn't it June. yeah um, right, here's Red Dead Redemption 2 and right now you can download Red Dead Redemption 1 for Xbox One yeah that would surprise me maybe for free yeah. Might give away games with gold or something. Maybe. Do that. That'd be awesome. And I'll download it. So I don't want to pay for it again. Download it and then I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that's what will happen. Yeah. That said, I have played I've, I've been playing Dead Space. Cool. Okay. You know what? When I put Dead Space on, I thought it was gonna look crap. I was like, this is old now. It's like eight years old this year. Yeah. The first Dead Space. And I put it on and I actually can't believe how good it looks. Yeah. Still. I, it looks great. Um there's a lot of art style um involved, which is good. Yeah, but yeah, it looks great. I I'd know. love another Dead Space. Oh, as long as, it, as, long as, it, as it's more like the first game and less like the third game, then yeah, mm. me too. I enjoyed all three, but three was the worst. Yeah, it's too the worst of the three. Down. It's not a bad game, but it's not as um, where keep a fresh pair of underpants near th- <laughs> while playing it. Yeah, because so, there's a lot of outdoor stuff, like in the snow and stuff. I remember. Yeah, and they turned it down with like co-op and had like some weird microtransactions things going on. Oh yeah, and the horror just wasn't there. Weird. Um, and uh, since the last podcast we did, 
at least I think it's since, um, there was like a, a little mini trailer for Titanfall 2. Oh, yeah. That's sort of that. released. Like we'll see the trailer. Yeah. And there's like a big unveiling in June. Cool. Um, I imagine that is at that, because I know EA are skipping E3 and having their own conference. Oh, right, okay. Um, so <laughs> I imagine they'll unveil it there. Screw you guys, I'll have our own conference. Yeah. With Black Tag and Hookers. The thing is with, the thing is with that, right, I don't have too much of a problem with it. Um, and I, I don't, I mean, I've seen some sort of gaming industry insiders be like, oh, you know, could this be the end of E3 and things like that? I don't think it will be, but no. the thing with these EA conferences, like when they show FIFA and stuff like that, people like me are interested in seeing FIFA. Yeah. But people... People like me. <laughs> people like Gonna give a shit. Finn <laughs> and, you know, people who aren't into sports, um, you know, then they don't want to see Pele come out on stage. They don't want to <laughs> see some footballer they've never heard of or a basketball player or whatever come out on stage talking about a game that they could not give a shit about. <laughs> yeah. In this game, the ball is yellow. <gasps> yeah. <laughs> what else is different? It's like, yeah, great. Literally nothing. It's just football and ice. That's <laughs> what yeah. That's what, they, you know, so um, I think it's a good thing that if EA are going to do their own conference because then if you don't want to watch the FIFA bit, don't watch it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here's the EA press conference, but we're going to have to sit through 15 minutes of EA sports crap. Yeah. No, that's fine. Um, I think it's going to be basically E3, just like an extra day of E3, just mm-hmm. for EA yeah. stuff. So, whatever, it's, it's fine. Uh, I know we've touched on Titanfall 2 before it was officially announced. Are yeah, you excited yeah. for it? Yeah, yeah, sure. I like the first one. Um, There's a we... campaign this time. Yeah, that's what I can say. Uh, I do wish the first game in a campaign. Uh, next one does. It always excites me. Very um, much so, yeah. Might be awesome. Especially if they do it sort of in the same cinematic way they do um, Battlefield and stuff like that. Sure, okay. I haven't does played it... Battlefield uh, story mode. Have you not? Uh, no. Or you... ever. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll play the better of three. That was days ago. I'm like, not an online multiplayer guy for Battlefield. It's too no. too in depth. But I do like playing yeah. through the story modes because they're always sort of a really cool moments of buildings and shit falling down and cool. things okay. like that, which is cool. I hope Titanfall has the same sort of thing. Yeah. Um, what was quite noticeable in the, the very short glimpse that you get of Titanfall is that the Titans got us carrying a sword. Yeah, that was cool. So it looks like we might get some sort of more in depth um, fighting combat. styles. Yeah, that'd yeah. be awesome. I'd love that. Um, because obviously in Titanfall one. The classes don't really differ too much from each other. No, it's this one big guy with a gun and another big guy with a gun, or yeah. slightly smaller guy with a gun. But it's awesome. So <laughs> yeah, it's uh, and I'm excited for Timefall too. Yeah, um, I think it'll come this year as well. Probably. Um, Probably. Back end of this Probably. year. Yeah. Yeah. Fall. <laughs> they say fall like we we're supposed to know what it is. Yeah. But fall. Let's just just fall. say <laughs> they say fall like just just to give it just to give themselves a bit more time. Yeah. It's going to be one of these four months that it's going to come out. So <laughs> yeah. That's when this game's coming. From September um, to December. Yeah, basically. Um, that's pretty much all I have as far as gaming news goes. You got anything? Um, I think so. That's about it. Yeah? Yep, yep. So uh, there's half an hour of gaming news for you. Mm-hmm. If you tune into us just for the wrestling, then uh, you're now in luck. Yeah. Half an hour in. Um, I'm going to let Finn take the lead on the wrestling bit here uh, because I haven't seen Raw this week yet because Sky haven't... Uh, my Sky has yet again not recorded Raw. Um <laughs> The adverts for Sky say believe in better. I can't actually believe in them recording my shit at the minute. So. <laughs> yeah. Sky, you really need to get your act together because right now I am fuming. I've read the results, but it's not the same as watching it. Yeah. I don't have the problem. I'll watch it. Completely legally online. <laughs> By completely legal means. Yeah. <laughs> right. So, we'll talk about Raw this week uh, because it's most relevant the most in my head and on my phone. Okay. <laughs> Um, so start off with uh, Dean Ambrose it was Ambrose Asylum again oh, okay yeah and also Shane's back in charge by the way third but, week in a row yep this makes the Hell in the Cell match completely pointless yeah once again this haven't win forgot oh, whatever okay. <laughs> <laughs> well the thing I don't understand about this this whole Shane being in charge storyline is that it's oh, due to overwhelming social media reaction well, yeah. yeah because yeah, but Roman Reigns is still champion so yeah. that makes no, no sense none of us wanted <laughs> None of us want to see Triple H. It's definitely every week. <laughs> and Shane's awesome. Yeah, he is. So, oh, I don't know. It, I think, again, I mean, like we said last time, I think it was just an excuse to have that big giant bump off the cell. Yeah, probably. But they've not. They've, it's not been thought through. No, not at all. In any sort of meaningful way. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm just on him. Um, probably go nuts. And uh, he gets interrupted. Oh, he invites, that's right, he invites Shane to his... Uh, to the show, he says guest. Right. Um, okay. He talks about um, like people who deserve being on the championship picture, like Sami Zayn and 
all the new guys. And then uh, Kevin Owens interrupts. He says, oh, I deserve the Savage Shot. You hate me because you made me go. You like escorted me out of the building last week because you didn't want me to interfere in Sami Zayn's match. Mm. Uh, yeah, all that stuff. And then got uh, Chris Jericho came out and Sami Zayn came out and a bunch of other people. But they basically made a main event for Payback. Uh, a couple of main, not main events, but a couple of matches of Payback. Uh, one of them is Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens, mm-hmm. which would be amazing. Yep. And the other one was uh, Dean Ambrose versus Chris Jericho. That's fine. I mean, the Sami Zayn versus Kevin Owens ones has been brewing for a little while. Definitely, yep. Um, I'll be happy to see it. I know they had the rivalry in NXT, but mm-hmm. it didn't really um, end the way I feel it should have. No. It's so obviously, Owens won the title um, by completely battering him. Yeah, pretty much. And then they had the rematch. Um, and again, uh, Owens won. Mm-hmm. Then obviously Sami Zayn got injured. Uh, yep. So they never Owens. really got to revisit it properly. Yeah. And now they're both on the main roster. I feel like finally they're actually going to get to do it and maybe put it to bed. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I think I think it'll drag on for a little bit. Oh, do you? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, because I think there's a lot of life in this. Uh, because there's always been NXT. Not not everyone watches NXT. Um, like casual fans and all that. I still don't understand that. I mean, it's so big now. Yeah. I don't know. There's people like us love it, but I don't know. It's weird. What are you trying to say about us? I don't know. We're marks. <laughs> We're just smarter than everyone else at all. Yeah, fair <laughs> enough. Yeah, I didn't want to say it, but you, you said it for me. Um, <laughs> That's not true. It's not true. <laughs> it's not. Um, no, I, I, I'm... I mean, the match itself will be amazing. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, payback actually uh, a week this Sunday, isn't it? So it's Bank Holiday weekend. I think so, yeah. Get it. Made, made the first, yeah. All right, good. So that is next weekend. Great. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Day off work. Whoop. Well, not for me. Yeah, well. <laughs> I don't get for work, working a crappy job. Uh, we will be doing a payback live prediction show, though. Yep, of course. As um, always do. The WrestleMania one was great, so come back mm-hmm. for the payback one. Definitely. We're not streamed in ages, actually. We need to get on that. Yeah, definitely. Whoop, whoop. I'm a bit deeper into my and uh, WWE 2K16 career mode now, so maybe... Cool. Uh, I'll do a stream of that at some point before payback. Awesome. Okay. That'd be great. Uh, we've got some videos to make too. Yep. Yeah, we've got lots of stuff. Anyway. Lots of stuff to do. Uh, but yes. After the Ambrose Asylum, um, a match was made exclusively on Facebook. <laughs> it was uh, Sami Zayn versus uh, Chris Jericho. Why was it made on Facebook? God knows. Because they don't want to plug their Facebook page for whatever reason. God. But uh, yeah, that was a great match actually. Um, Chris Jericho ended up winning. This is uh, the main event. It wasn't many minutes, no, it was just like the match. Oh, was it straight after? Yeah, straight oh, after. Right, okay. Well, back from the break. Yeah, back from the break, yeah. Right. Sami Zayn, like, came out on the break. Made stupid. on Facebook, which technically means made way before Raw even started. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, Chris Jericho ended up winning the match. That was a great match. And great story. Clean? Um, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, it was clean. Uh, it's a code breaker. All right, okay. I think, he, I think Sami Zayn got out of the quarter of Jericho. And then I think Sammy Zayn was the top rope and he got like drop kicks. Uh he knocked me there, which is cool. Mm. And then he got eight o'clock bigger later. Something like that. Right, fair enough. Um I don't really have a problem with Sammy Zayn sort of losing the occasional match because it doesn't hurt him. No. Everyone's got you can't win forever. No, exactly. That's what a lot of people don't get, I think. Like, oh my god, my favourite lost again, Jesus. <laughs> like, your favourite can't win every week. Yeah. It does them no harm to lose. No. It's just, fine. So just because they lose on Raw doesn't mean they're gonna lose they're not Tyler Breeze. No, <laughs> they'll, they'll get plenty more matches. Whose outstanding lose uh, loss record keeps yeah. keeps building up. Incredible. Or Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, after that, uh, we had the uh, backstage segment with AJ Styles and Mar- Mauro Vanillo, SmackDown announcer guy. We can never, never pronounce. Right. Uh, I have seen this actually. I saw this on uh, I saw this on YouTube. Um, this is where. Um, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson come in mm-hmm. and interrupt the um, AJ Styles interview segment. Yep, which is great. And they do sort of the uh, bullet, club, bullet club shtick and do the uh, all that sort of thing. <laughs> and, you know, basically AJ Styles saying how great it is to have them on the main roster, to have them in WWE finally, yeah. and all this sort of stuff. And um, it's uh, AJ Styles who brought them on to into WWE and helped them get them in the WWE. Right. So that's what we're going with at the minute. Yeah. Even though, I mean, this leaked, God bloody hell, <laughs> ages ago. Yeah, probably at the same time AJ Styles leaked as well, so. 
Yeah. They, they, well, all four of them are sort of Nakamura. They're all sort of leaked together. Weren't That's they? true. Yeah, yeah. Like the four of them are leaving um, NJPW and they're going to come to WWE and all this sort of stuff. Um, what I will say, the um, Doc Gallows and Carl Anderson really look the part. Oh yeah, for sure. They look great. They look really, really good. Um, so yeah, they they had this segment backstage and they all went to another place to talk about a hazy night out that they all had. <laughs> yeah. So. Um, I have a theory about where all this is going, but we'll talk about that a bit later on. Yeah, same. Um, after that, we have a tag team tournament semi-finals match. Mm. Uh, Enzo Amore and Colin Cassidy versus the Dudley Boys. So this is the Dudley. tag team tournament that was started um, last week on Raw. Mm-hmm. Uh, so the second week that Shane was in charge, he made this uh, tag team tournament that's sponsored by Bootios. Yes, they make sure you ain't booty. Yeah, but uh, mm-hmm. I love the, um, you know when they show the, by the versus versus, and it says sponsored by Booty Ocean. Yeah. Corner. That's really good. So nice good. touch. <laughs> um, so it was Enzo and Cass versus the Dudley Boys. Yep. Okay. So obviously Enzo and Cass had won their first match, which was last week on SmackDown. Yep. Can't remember who against. Oh, The Ascension. Oh, yeah. The Ascension. Yeah. One, one of whom has been uh, suspended. suspended for his uh, wellness policy. Idiots. Fool. <laughs> We've already had, had the bottom of the card. Why would you risk it by messing around with the drugs? I don't get it. Yeah, apparently it's not the first time either. Apparently before they made it to, uh, when they were in developmental, apparently both of them, oh, really? Rose and Connor, were uh, both suspended for uh, misuse of some stuff. Yeah, some stuff. Weird. Just, I'm sorry, but the, it's like these guys haven't got brains. <laughs> I know. It's like, why? <laughs> it just doesn't make sense to me. It's like, you've got, a, you, you've got a good in WWE. Yeah. Like, whether you're definitely. on the bottom of the card or whether you're in NXT... Or whatever, right? You've got mm. it good. You're a professional wrestler at the highest, at the biggest wrestling company in the world. Yeah, you're living a dream. You know full well that they do random drugs tests. Yeah. And that they have a wellness policy in place. Why? What part of your brain, <laughs> or, you know, just m- makes you think, oh, I'll probably get away with this. So we'll just <laughs> yeah. we'll just do it this once and then we'll never do it again. Yeah. <sighs> Stupid. It's not, it's not worth it. But what's worse now is that WWE call you out on it. Yeah. Like, like when you get suspended in WWE, they're like, well, so and so, and their real name yeah. followed by their wrestling name have been suspended for sixty days, whatever, following abuse of the wellness policy. It's like, yeah, it's just you've got to be stupid. <laughs> you've got to be. I don't get it. <sighs> Come with somebody who's never known drugs in his life, but still, I don't get it. John Cena. Hey. Did you say Cena? Then? No, no. It's it's, it's coming with someone who's never done a drug in his life. Um. But I don't know. I don't get it. I don't know, man. I think you, you could be on the roids. <laughs> you think so? I think so. No, all the all muscle is 100% genuine. Mm. <laughs> Two tickets to the gun show. <laughs> yeah. <Ka-ching. laughs> um So, yeah. they So, Enzo and Cass beat the Ascension on SmackDown to advance to Raw mm-hmm. um, to the semi-finals. Yes. Or the semi-finals. Which semi-finals. Which they probably would have said on Raw. If you're American, I'm sorry. That was awful. <laughs> Here, okay. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, but yes, ended, ended, ended up, Enzo and Kath ended up winning. Kath, uh, as I thought they would. Is that is that Big Cass's mum? Yeah, <laughs> that's another thing. They announced that. Um, oh, what's that stupid comedian's name? Um, some comedian's parents were in attendance. Who? Um, I can't believe him his name. Some unfunny comedian. <laughs> He's around everywhere at the minute. What? His parents were in the crowd. Yeah, at the moment. No, it's, oh, his parents are here. And it's like, so <laughs> who cares? Uh, Without knowing who it is, I can't sort of comment. Yeah, I don't remember his name. It sounds stupid though. Yeah, he does that karaoke thing in cars with celebrities. Karaoke thing. Yeah. What you mean, lip sync battle? No. Oh. I don't know. Oh, James Corden. Yeah, his his parents were in, like, on the flight. Oh, it was in London, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. Does that make um, sense? Is that like a thing that's done? James Corden is funny though. Is he? Yeah. Okay. I'll take a word for it. I don't, I don't, I don't yeah. know who his parents are, though. I don't know why they would, them being on Raw, would be yeah. of any significance or relevance to anybody. Yeah, maybe it's a huge deal of it as well. Like, certain on the camera, like, oh, look, there they are. Oh. Unless he's on his show or something. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? Yeah. Stupid. That is stupid. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, completely irrelevant to what I'm talking about. But yeah, Enzo Gath won. Ready for them. Um, yeah, so they're in the finals of the tag team tournament. Yeah, yeah. fight New Day, whenever that is. Uh, yep. Oh, that'll be some point down the road. Actually. Some in the road, yeah. Um, probably a payback, isn't it? It's not a payback. Is not? No. Oh, okay. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> oh, the and The finals then... were a payback. Okay. I think. Oh, uh, yeah, you're right, actually. Yeah, I've yeah. never seen that. You're right. 
Anyway, after that, uh, Roman Reigns, everyone, everyone's favorite wrestler, Roman Reigns, yeah, everyone's favorite. comes not, out. Not a bad guy. Not a good guy. Not a good guy, but the, the guy. guy. Yeah, he says that once again, like the fifth time in a row. He's getting That's tired. his new thing now. Getting, <laughs> until, they, until that gets over, he's going to say it every week. <laughs> yeah. We're tired of it now, Roman. Shut yeah, up. Already. Yeah. Thankfully, AJ Styles came out and just like this really bad... Uh, promo has obviously been rehearsed a hundred times by Reigns, just <laughs> reading it off of the, like his hand. It's like, oh, it's awful. Right. And then um, well, they, had, they had a little like like words. So I'm going to be champion. I'm going to be champion. I'm going to be champion. Right. And then AJ Stars went off. His music played. Yeah, AJ Stars music played. Yeah. While Roman Reigns was still stood in the ring. Yeah. Was this at the end of Raw? Uh, no, it was like halfway through. All oh, right. Then after that, um, the Bullet Club guys um, came down and attacked Roman Reigns, and AJ Stars was like. What? I didn't ask you to do that. And then they're like backstage things like, oh, well, I, I didn't tend to do that. That's, yeah, Roman's age is just like, yeah, right, okay. Ugh. See, I had a theory on this because obviously last week on Raw, um, Anderson and Gallows attacked the Usos. Yeah. And obviously AJ's going for Reigns' his championship and whatever. So my thoughts were, right, that's that's what this is. So obviously the family connection. Yeah. Reigns sent out a. Uh, a wrestling tweet afterwards. Okay. Like, uh, AJ, you can... T- I don't need a club, in quotes. <laughs> um, leave my family alone and blah, 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 and all this sort of stuff. It's like, Reigns, we, you do know that Twitter isn't for this, right? <laughs> yeah. it's, not, it's not for promoting storylines because we know it isn't real. Yeah. <laughs> you know it's predetermined. You don't need to do this. So, um, my thoughts on this is I think Gallows and Anderson are going to side with Reigns. And attack AJ Styles. Okay. I don't think they're going to go with the Bullet Club thing in WWE. Um, yeah, probably not. Um, at least it I, won't be called that. Yeah, I think they're going to turn on AJ as you said, but I don't, I don't think they'll decide with Roman. I think they'll just like like attack both and win a whole match or something. Well, I think. Um, I mean, I know Vince is big on Reigns, but at this point, would turning him heel really be that bad? No, He's, they should turn. They did absolutely turn him heel. Because everyone's already booing him, so why the hell not? Because everyone loves AJ Styles. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Uh, he is, he is AJ Styles. That's, you know, he's great. Yeah. So, if Roman could be that champion that's gonna sort of get shitty wins, <laughs> you know, especially over the likes of AJ Styles, where it's gonna generate massive heat. Yeah. You know, do it. Definitely. Yeah. Like, have Roman Reigns and uh, Anderson and Gallows. You know, if they're going to elevate Reigns to a different level, of then do it. Yeah, sure. I don't see a problem with it. Vince probably does because I know he wants Roman Reigns to be the face champion going forward for yeah. the next 25 years or whatever. But surely the reality is um, that it, it just can't happen. No. No one likes Roman Reigns. I, I like Roman Reigns, but... He's not my choice of champion. No. Just like, I'm sure there's a lot of other people out there uh, who are the same. They're like, yeah, Roman Reigns is okay. And we liked him in the Shield, but we don't want him to be our champion. No. Because there's this thing of, oh, he's been shoved down our throats and all this sort of, all this sort of stuff. It's like, hey, his face fits. His look fits. Vince wants to be champion. It's tough for you. Yeah. But just if he's going to be the champion, which obviously he is going to be, do it a different way. Yeah. I think I agree that's what they should do. I don't know if they will do it because it seems to be in, determined to make Roman like this the main guy. I don't know. But this new attitude that he's coming out with, um, you know, like the that catchphrase that he says, <laughs> it, it's, it's, it's not a good guy persona. It's not. It's kind of, yeah, it's it's playing it like an in-between at the minute. It's like a I don't care what you think persona. Yeah, I think it's trying to turn him into like the next Stone Cold type of thing, which is a terrible idea. Um, it's not going to work. <laughs> no, it's so. not, no. <laughs> um, I said last week that... Um, uh, I said on Twitter last week that they are protecting him. Yeah, sure. And they are. Yeah. The time, because without Triple H to carry carry him, um, sort of talking-wise, it's it's difficult for Reigns. Yeah. So they're, they're definitely protecting him. So, like... For example, uh, the night after Raw, he was hardly on it. He was on it for like a talking segment. <laughs> yeah. Then all the other guys came out, and you know, then that was that was basically it for Reigns for the night, just to protect him from that crowd. Yeah. Because they absolutely murdered him. <laughs> yeah. We sure. last week as well. It was pretty much the same thing. I think that they chucked him in a tag team with Bray Wyatt. Oh yeah. 
Um, that's actually quite a decent that match. Yeah, it was fine. But now Bray White's injured, so that's great. Oh yeah, I've got um, that. But again, Reigns didn't have much of a talking part. He did his did his bloody three lines, then Bray came out or whatever. And you know, again, you didn't see much of Reigns because they're protecting him because mm. they don't know what they don't know how to deal with the situation. Basically, I don't think they've ha- ever had a you know like a big um, superstar be have this sort of reaction before. I know Cena is <laughs> Cena gets it, but this is worse. Yeah, the Cena, Cena, at least the Cena is like half the audience is cheering him, the half is booing him. Yeah, the Reigns is like everyone's booing him. There's no cheers there. Yeah. Um, so that, and they're they're protecting him because of that because they don't know how to deal with it. Yeah, and they're so they're going to keep doing it until they figure it out. Yeah, and maybe this way with the Bullet Club going back to that, um, and it won't be the Bullet Club. No, it'd be something else. Um, maybe having them two with Reigns would protect him a bit because they can sort of go plowing through people together and they can get booed out of the building together every week because yeah. no doubt that's what Anderson and Gallows will be looking for. Definitely, and that'd be the way to go with Reigns because he's protected in the Shield. Yep. Because he had Rollins, who was obviously excellent, mm-hmm. and Ambrose the same. And, you know, Ambrose can talk, so can Rollins to a degree. Yep. Reigns just did the last part with a fist bump and all that stuff. <laughs> yeah. So, Lead that. Yeah. And that's all, all he really said. Yeah. So I think maybe they realized that he needs that sort of protection. And it'd work going forward yeah. with him as champion. For sure. But whether they do that or not, I don't know. There's a lot of people saying they are going to go with the Bullet Club idea. Yeah, I, um, think. I think they're all going to play nice with AJ until payback, and then they'll turn on him. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, for sure. Because um, I think they'll keep trying to help uh, AJ, like attacking his opponents or whatever. And they just be like, I don't need your help. Stop helping me. And then that will lead into attack. Unless, I mean, the other thing is they could have all three of them, and then they could be heels. Yeah, sure. But that then isn't gonna I, work. no, we won't, we won't work at all. But <laughs> nope. It's a very WWE thing to do. Yeah. Um, Friend of the show, Steve, texted me yesterday. Oh, yeah. And we, we were having the same conversation, actually. <laughs> and uh, he was like, it'll just be like Kevin Owens. They'll just cheer him, even though they ideally should be booing him. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah you're exactly right. But uh, I don't know. Um, I'm intrigued to see where it goes. For sure. For a change. Yeah. Because this too. is good at the minute. We're in a good period of WWE. With, we are. Um, the new people coming through and who is in the main event scene, mainly because of who's injured. Well, <laughs> yeah. That's fine. We'll let it go. Um, so I'm interested to see where this whole Bullet Club thing goes. They won't be called the Bullet Club. No. I imagine they'll probably call them the Club <laughs> or something crap like that. Yeah. Standard WWE. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Anyway, right after that whole segment, we had Fandango. Huh? <laughs> yeah, versus Baron Corbin. Oh, um, so it was a squash, was it? Pretty much. Fandango was there. Definitely trying to get over these Fandangoing. On the table again. Uh, I think it was just in the ring doing it. Mm-hmm. Was like, please, please do my sing my song again, please. Make me relevant. Did they? Nope. Uh-huh. Okay. Don't really care. <laughs> and Dolphin Seagull was there on commentary as well. Why? Because Baron Corbin. Oh, of course, yeah. yeah. Been doing the whole thing. Um, but yeah, pretty much a squash match. Uh, he did get some offense in, Fandango, but it didn't last long. And Baron Corbin ended up winning, of course. With the end of days? Uh, yep. Yeah. End of days. Uh, Good. And they had like a thing with Ziggler. Him. I think Ziggler attacked him from behind. And then Corbin ended up hitting him with the end of days and looking strong. Right. Um, this is a good way to bring Baron Corbin in, I think. Definitely, yeah. I think um, Ziggler's like the perfect guy to feud with as well. Yeah, because um, Ziggler clearly isn't asked about being like going over. Yeah, pretty much. So um, I assume they'll have a match at Payback. Um, that's good. I, I, I'm happy with this. I mean, it's just a starting point for Baron Corbin. It's not really um, a big part of what's going on. But it's, uh, it's the start of something good, I think, for Baron Corbin. Yeah, for sure. It looks the part. Yep. He's a definite Vince McMahon wrestler. Yeah, definitely. I think we touched on this before, but yeah, I, I see big things for Baron Corbin in the future. Yeah. He was getting stale in NXT. Um, you know, he wasn't ever going to beat Samoa Joe or <laughs> Finn Balor or anything no. like that because the NXT fans wouldn't want it. No, for sure. So put him on the main roster. Maybe stick him with Reigns in that heel faction. Yeah, maybe. Why not? Yeah, why not? That'd be cool. Um, yeah. Get Anderson and Gallows wigs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but now, like, I bangled a lot. Um, but after that, we had a thing with the Miz and Maurice. Mm-hmm. Um, the whole kind of cringeworthy segment. I realised well, after we did the last podcast, I don't think we did we touch on the Intercontinental title thing. We um, must have actually. The only thing we didn't talk about was Cesaro, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Cesaro. Sorry, we love you. We do. 
Thanks for liking my tweet. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So is this still with Zack Ryder or has Zack gone out of the window now? Um, Zack wasn't on the show. Poor Zack. It's just ridiculous because he was champion like a couple of weeks ago. Um, no. Okay. Yeah, so Moose and the Miz, uh, the Miz TV thing. Um, someone came out. Who there was it? Um, oh, yeah, Cesaro came out. <laughs> of course. Cesaro, we love you. Came out in his suit. <laughs> um, looking awesome. Like James Bond type suit. Yeah. And he still needs the new entrance music because this is so I hate terrible. that entrance with that entrance music. Yeah. I like, don't mind the weird entrance, the James Bond thing where it comes from the side. Yeah, that's cool. It rips the suit off. <laughs> has sunglasses on and stuff. But I think that's cool, but... Uh, the music really sucks. Yeah, it's not great. But, um, yeah, Cesaro uh, and Miz had like a whole thing. Um, Cesaro quoted Roddy Piper saying, I'm into chew bubble gum and kick some ass. And well, who that, said that? Cesaro. Oh, okay. And then all that bubble gum like, spits out his gun, like, whips off his suit. What was that later? Oh, no, yeah, so he selected the same man. It made, made like a tag team match with him and the New Day versus um, the Miz and other people. Uh, League of Nations, that was it. Oh, God. <laughs> he, like, he like whipped off a shoot and he had like a new day shirt on, which is pretty cool. Huh. Uh, yeah, the second time around. Uh, yeah, when he, when he when he came down, like cause they made a match like right there and then. Yeah. So like after he's done speaking, he whipped off a shirt and it's a new day. Yeah. Anyway. Cool. Yeah, so yeah, right there was New Day and Cesaro versus League of Nations and the Miz. So they're still carrying that League of Nations New Day feud on. Uh, apparently so. So I, I, I don't know, you must have read it as well. I just sent a tweet out saying that the WWE plan to break up the League of Nations. <laughs> yeah, I like that tweet. Who gives like... a shit about that? <laughs> yeah, who cares? No one cared when they put them together. No. No one cares for their crap music. <laughs> now that King Barrett's gone out of it, it makes it look crap anyway. Yeah. And, oh, I don't know, they're stupid. So when they break up, eventually I imagine probably have to pay back. Um, is it New Day versus League of Nations again at payback? No idea. Okay. Probably. Probably be for the tag titles again and League of Nations will lose again yeah. and then that might be the it. That might be the end of it. Maybe a few with each other that'd be alright. Yeah, sure. Yeah, have Rusev versus Del Rio that'd be good. That'd be cool, yeah. I'll be on with that. Get Sheamus in there that means we have, he's an interfering in the titles picture. Yeah, sure. Or maybe make the US all relevant again. Have, have, have a whole division for it. <laughs> yeah, why not? Yeah. That'd be cool. Um, yeah, so after that, uh, New Day and Cesaro won, obviously. So do, you, after, do you see Cesaro beating the Miz at payback? Um, I'd say maybe someone to get involved. Maybe we need to get involved and disqualify it or something. I like to win. I'd like to see him as champion. Uh huh. Yeah, for sure. Bring a bit of credit. Although I do like the Miz. Um, yeah, and we I can. like seeing Maurice back. Obviously, the reason she's back is because she's going to be in Total Divas. Yeah. <laughs> um. But I like Maurice, that's fine. Is Total Divas still a thing? What's Total Bellas then? Oh, that's a spin-off from Total Divas. So <laughs> right. the, because obviously the Bellas are the big draw. Yeah. But no, they're not in WWE anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, Brie isn't. Brie isn't shot, yeah. Weird. But uh, Nikki's injured, so... So are they not going to be in Total Divas? That's going to be the main no, thing? No, I think they're having like a shake-up. Okay. Because um, Maurice is going to be in it. Uh, that woman from who was in Tough Enough is, is in it this season, I think, but she'll be in it more going forward. Oh, yeah, the blonde woman who's always in bikinis. Yes, that woman, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's the reason why she's in it, clearly. Yeah, because um, bikinis. Because bikinis. Yeah. yeah. Because WWE are perverts and <laughs> yeah. bikinis. So yeah, uh, Total Bellas is a, is a spin-off. It's got Cena in it and it's got uh, Daniel Bryan in it. Yeah. And it's got their really annoying family in it. Oh God, the John Laurinaitis of all people. Oh yeah, there? John Laurinaitis is because he's married to the Bellas' mum. Yeah. People power. Yeah. I used to love that. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, it was funny, but... It grew tired of them. Anyway, after that... Like everything. Yeah, like everything. Like Roman Reigns. <laughs> <laughs> so after that, we had a backstage segment with um, Charlotte. It's been with Mauro Ranello. Mm-hmm. Uh, you are saying it right, Mauro Ranello. Mauro Ranello. Okay, good. Yeah. Uh, a Smackdown guy. The Smackdown guy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, Natalia and then uh, Natalia comes down and uh, says like, you're going to have Ric Flair in your corner? Well, I'm going to have Bret Hart in my corner. Oh, hey. good. Which is going to be cool. Uh, see Bear Hart back. Uh, standing around. Doing not much. Looking <laughs> looking sad. <laughs> <laughs> Still ruining the uh, Montreal screw job. Yeah. Still fuming deep down. <laughs> yeah. I, like, I love Bret Hart though. Yeah, yeah. It's awesome to see him. I don't know what kind of condition he's in at the minute. Obviously, I know he's um, he had a battle with 
uh, Kansas very recently. Yeah. Which I think he's sort of overcome. I think so. Uh, not fully. Not fully, uh, but... But that, that's his words, because obviously JR came out and said that uh, yeah. he was cured, and that was it. And Bret Hart was like, well, no, I yeah. haven't, but... Yeah, know, it's like, better than it was. Thanks for caring, and all that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. Um, it'd be good to see Bret Hart. Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, I don't see Natalia winning. But no. Well, maybe. It could happen. No. No. It would be good, though. I'd like that. Yeah, I would. Natalia works so hard. She does. She doesn't whinge and complain. No. She puts up with her stuff on Total Divas <laughs> and uh, just gets on with it. So I'd like to see Natalia win. That'd be good. Yeah. Um, I'm assuming they're fine at payback. Oh, yeah. You yeah. just said, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. After that, we had a Divas tag team match. The only Divas match on the show, show sadly. Mm. Um, but it was uh, Natalia. Three women's. Women, yep. Sorry. Women's match. My bad. <laughs> They actually did a good job of calling women's matches and not... They don't think they mentioned the word Divas once on the show, so that's good. Total, it, total women. Yeah, exactly, total women. Do they still play that crap Total Divas music over the top? I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. When they walk into the ring, like backstage. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so it's Natalia, Becky Lynch and Paige, and Trasha Banks versus Naomi, Tamina, Summer Rae and Charlotte. Right, okay. Uh, How long did that last? Actually, not that... Quite a decent amount of time. Really? Yeah, not, well, not that bad. Um... It was an okay match. It wasn't amazing. But everybody got their moves in. Everybody came in and hit triangle. Did the finishes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, the good guys won. Oh, okay. Uh, Natalia Page, Sergeant Banks, and Rebecca Lynch. And actually, uh, oh yeah, that's right. Uh, Natalia tapped out um, Charlotte for the win. So the sharpshooter. Uh, yeah, yeah. Mm, okay. So that's cool. That's good. Um, what's interesting about these shows in England is that nothing substantial really happens. Yeah, pretty much. So the, the good guys will go over because that's what the crowd want to see. Yeah. They'll be back in America next week and they'll probably like every title will change hands and stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. I think that's. Yeah. And right, so after that we had another tag team tournament semi-final match. Uh, the World Villains versus the Usos. See, I'm interested in this. Right, how... Oh, right, versus the Usos. Mm-hmm. So what kind of reaction did the World Villains get? Not the best. Um, there were a few people uh, chanting along with their entrance thing. But they didn't get the best reaction. It's weird. I don't know why they're heels. I feel like they should be better. Oh, they're cow- heels? Are yeah. They? I feel like their character would be better suited for good guys, personally. Well, th- this is... I feel, I feel like the crowd was confused. I didn't want to whether they'd be cheering him or not. I got to that point in the latter of days in NXT because I wasn't sure. Because when they first came in, they were they were heels. Yeah, they were heels, then they were good guys, and then in the end, they were heels again. Because remember how over they were when they won the NXT tag titles yeah, and yeah. takeover in Brooklyn? Yeah. Like Radio. they won and the crowd went ballistic. Yeah. And then when I saw that they were, because they've been losing a lot on NXT, like fairly recently. Yes. Um, and that's why I was sort of a little bit confused when they got called up. Maybe again, like Baron Corbin, their act was getting sort of stale in NXT. Maybe. So rather than have them losing every week, maybe sort of, you know, bring them up and do it that way. Mm. Um, But they won, didn't they? I think so. Yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah, they all done the match against Usos. Clean? Um, yeah. No. Yeah, I think. I'll just have a look on there. Um, yeah, pretty much. Right. I think they, they, they did like... The okay. Whirling Dervish, I think they finished the moves called. Yeah, the Whirling Dervish, that ended it, and yeah, that was it. That's good, it um, is. I think, because um, I like the Vaud villains. I think they have a lot of potential, but again, it's one of these mm. gimmicks that do you think it's really going to get over on the main roster? Like Tyler Breeze, for example. Yeah, uh, hard to say. I think possibly if they were good guys, as heels, it doesn't really make a lot of sense. Uh, but the, know, the music's better when they're, when they're heels. <laughs> yeah, like, When they're good guys, it's like... <laughs> and like, when it's heels, it's all darker and stuff. Are they still yeah. got the same entrance? I, haven't, I didn't watch Smackdown last week. Yeah, they've so. got the uh, old heel entrance. Um, Have they got the guy with the gather round, gather round? Yeah, still, still got that bit. Oh, right, cool. And then it goes into the heel entrance. Uh, like sounds kind of sounds like um William Meagle's entrance music sort of who William Meagle oh right yeah okay. <laughs> yeah yeah that's good yeah um, so they're in the finals against Enzo and Cass they are which is I think that's good mm, me too um I think teams. The, I think the Vaud villains should go over there should okay. win sure you think um, um, Dudley's might interfere with Enzo and Cass maybe maybe although you know if the Enzo and Cass have already beaten the Dudleys clean. Mm. I'm assuming it was clean. Yeah, pretty much. Then maybe it's not worth revisiting. Maybe. Um, I mean, the pr- the promos between New Day and Enzo and Cass could be something else. Yeah, yeah, that'd be amazing. But 
you know, Enzo and Cass are really over. Yeah. They need to get the Void Villains over. Otherwise, the, point, their actually. career will just plummet like the Ascension. Yeah. That's, we don't want to turn them into the Ascension. That's a good point. We don't, you, you don't really want two super over good guys going against each other because the crowd would just be confused. Well, that's um, it. They won't need to cheer for. Exactly, yeah. Because the New Day are good guys now. Yeah. And Enzo and Cass are the most over team since the New Age Outlaws. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Um, well, they are the modern deck. They keep getting compared to that. Yeah. The New Age Outlaws. So, makes sense. I mean, that, that's the closest thing you can you can compare them to. Yeah. So them versus the New Day now doesn't make a lot of sense. But no. the Vord villains could really do with... Um, some real good momentum behind them. Yeah. Like attack New Day, up, you know, do that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, if someone has to beat New Day for the titles, there might as well be some new be, guys. Be villains. Yeah, exactly. That's what your name is, just be that. So I think uh, I think the Vaud villains should win that uh, and then go on to fight the New Day whenever that is. Yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be awesome, actually. Um, yeah, so after that, we have a match between the Heath Slazer and uh, Apollo Crews. Um, earlier, apparently, in the pre-show, they tried to recruit uh, Apollo Crews for um, the Zoja Laogas. Well, because they had a, a new, they had, because they had a recent opening. <laughs> yeah, well, they didn't say that, but <laughs> no, I, I, I can't <laughs> imagine they did. It was heavily implied. Implied. Uh, but Apollo Crews said, like, oh well, if you beat me, then I'll, maybe I'll join. Uh, so of course, Apollo, Apollo Crews won. Yeah. Of course, yeah. <laughs> was it um, was it like a, a standard squash? Um, he actually got he still got in a decent amount of offense. I think mm. it was okay. Okay. Um, I really like Apollo Crews, but he can't keep messing around with uh, these sort of matches forever. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He needs to do something relevant. Was the uh, US title on Raw this week? Nope, I sure wasn't. <laughs> Crews it wasn't there. Why about wasn't there? It's the. Uh, who knows? Who knows what's going on with that? Maybe he's on SmackDown. Oh, great. <laughs> I don't. I just don't get it. No, I don't. Right. The um, these championships, if they're to be taken seriously, need to be on somebody who is. W- First of all, gonna be there. Be there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And he's also gonna give good matches week in, week out. Mm. You know, so you know the likes of Cruz. Um, I, I know I said this before on the last podcast because it pisses me off. It really like it's like why why have this belt there if it's not even gonna be on TV? Exactly. Because not many people watch SmackDown. No. Not as not as many people watch SmackDown. Exactly. That said, not many people watch Raw this week because it had a really bad rating. Did it? Okay. Yeah. It's not good. Um. That might have something to do with the fact. I mean that it. I mean it wasn't live, so you could have had the results literally. You know when the show finished because it was in England. Yeah, true. And it's stupid because they don't show it live here. Yeah, why not? Why not? It's, make, it's make... recorded, so they can chop and change it, do what they, whatever they want with yeah. it before it goes out live. I did notice some editing with the crowd noise as well. Oh really? Yeah. Yeah. The moment, moment the main came out, he still boo- you still say the booze, but it's like he edited booze. Mm. It's like a weird noise. <laughs> it's like a proper boo. Yeah. So I mean the problem. The problem is. People can get the results before, yeah. And if it's if Raw's competing with something else that's big, like I know the NBA playoffs are on at the minute. So uh, in America, if Raw is competing with that, you know, there's only one winner. Yeah, for sure. Makes no sense. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But after that, you know what that was? Um, <laughs> we had the main events, which was a great match. Uh, Kevin Owens versus Dean Ambrose. Oh, good. Yeah, it was awesome. Was that made by Shane? Oh, that was made by Shane at the beginning, wasn't it? It was, yes. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a great match. Lots of back and forth. Went on for a good long while. Um, Kevin Owens did like a frog splash to the outside onto uh, Dean Ambrose. It looked amazing and painful. <laughs> good. Um, uh, Dean Ambrose ended up winning. Um, clean? Yep, clean. That's To be honest, it's believable because yeah. it's like two guys that are really could go at it in the main event. Mm. So that's fine. I've, 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 to be honest, I, I know I keep asking if these wins are clean, but in WWE, you get so many screwy, crappy finishes. Yeah. You don't know what's gonna what's gonna happen week in week out. So. Exactly. Um, that's it? good. I mean, did anything happen after that? Uh yeah. Chris Jericho came out down afterwards and hit uh, Ambrose with the Code Breaker. Okay. And that kind of faded out into black and right. into the show. Okay. Um, what day are we on today? Uh, it's uh, Wednesday. Wednesday. I don't know if SmackDown's been recorded here yet. Good question. I'm not sure. I haven't seen anything to suggest that it has. Mm. So unless they're going for it live from the O2 tomorrow. That'd be cool. Someone tweeted us saying they had SmackDown tickets, actually. Oh, yeah. So I don't know if that was... For, if they rec- So they do usually record it on a Tuesday. Mm. I don't know. Who knows? Um, you can call this live. This is, this is quite good, actually, because it's a sort of a different build-up to usual mm. post-WrestleMania shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. Usually you would sort of just get rematches from WrestleMania. Yeah. 
um, at least sort of the mid card. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, um, you know, it'd just be like a rehash of WrestleMania, and then then they'd move forward because they feel like they can start again. Yeah. Um, Triple H hasn't actually been seen since WrestleMania, has he? So, I think the idea is to. This is what I read. I don't know. So I don't know how true it is. Again, the dirt sheets have got a lot, a lot wrong recently. <laughs> yeah. Um, because you know, there was a load of rumors on Monday that Finn Balor was going to be on Raw. Oh, right, okay. Just because it's in London. Yeah. And it's near to where he near yeah. to Ireland. Nearish. Right, yeah. Of, you know. <laughs> uh, that he's going to debut. He didn't. Yep. So God knows. Um. This it's it's interesting because they've got different guys fighting for the title now. Yeah. Obviously, AJ Styles was nowhere near the picture before WrestleMania. Now, post WrestleMania, he, that he is the big storyline with Reigns. Yeah, which is great. Very good, yeah. Um, so it's good. It's, it's an interesting build up that I can't wait to see where it goes. Yeah, for sure. Because I think payback could have ram- big ramifications going forward. Mm. Um, I, I, yeah, I think it's uh, it's an interesting time to be a WWE fan. Yeah, it's uh, at the minute. For yeah. A change. They were doing some good stuff. Mm. Um, I like a lot. It's I feel like we're in some sort of weird alternate dimension <laughs> where like Shane Mac is in charge. Uh, yeah. AJ Styles is there in the main event. Mm-hmm. And Bullet Club is there. It's like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> it's crazy. This is, what we, this is what we wanted. Yeah, that's it. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. But I mean, go, yeah, going back to the authority thing, I think I sort of read that, <clears throat> excuse me, the idea is to have the authority off TV for some time. Mm. Good. Um, having some sort of Shane O'Mac versus the authority thing. Okay. And then the authority will be off TV for a while. Great. Which means that they won't have, unless they have, Triple H comes in, invokes his rematch clause and says, look, this is what's going to happen. And Shane says, right, okay, if Reigns wins, then you're gone. Yeah. You're, you're, you know, you're gone. So I'll be in Rain, Reigns' corner. Try and general. Oh, this is a possibility. Obviously, what yeah. I said earlier on is what I think could happen, but I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know. So Triple H loses; they're gone forever, or well, gone for at least until they need to bring them back for whatever reason. Um, Do we to try and get Reigns over? Unless you have Triple H versus Shane. Yeah, sure, that could happen. Well, I'd be happy with that. Yeah, me too. Sure, sure. Because I know Triple H is on tour at the minute. All right, he's doing house shows. All right, okay. Um, he's not been on Raw, and I don't think he's going to be on SmackDown. Um, but he's doing house shows to replace whoever was injured. Cool. Maybe Undertaker. Possibly. Maybe Bray Wyatt. I'm not sure. But either way, he's he's fighting on house shows. That's good. Adding zero to the storyline. Just, <laughs> just making appearances. So that's yeah, good. turning up and wrestling. So I think it could be... I don't know if it's going to be Shane going forward. Maybe they'll have some sort of other authority figure in charge. Maybe. Um, but it apparently it's not going to be sort of Triple H and Stephanie, which is good. It needs to be freshened up. For sure, yeah. They've been around a long time. Because we don't need um, a 30-minute authority segment every <laughs> Monday on Raw. We don't know, for sure. Followed by several backstage bits of authority every week on Raw. Yeah. Um, so it's an interesting time. Um, I think Payback, like I said, is going to sort of shape how it's going to be going forward. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued. Me too. Nothing much to report as far as NXT goes. Uh, no. It airs it's tonight. Just, okay, yeah. Um, but I think, again, it's just WrestleMania Access weekend stuff. Nothing okay. significant. Yeah. So like last week's episode where Nakamura fought uh, the Perfect Ten, Ty yep. Dillinger. Yep. That's um, a good match, actually. It was good, yeah. Yeah. Um, but it, it was a nothing episode of NXT. Pretty much. Um, I actually really like Ty Dillinger. Yeah, I do. He's great. Mm. Um, which please my case for a mid-tier championship in yeah, NXT. Definitely, yeah. Just to give these guys maybe something to fight for, I don't know. Um, but, yeah, so the, I imagine, I think this this week is also a WrestleMania Access episode. So, again, nothing significant. And then yeah. I guess they're going to go back to full sale uh, and do some TV tapings this week. Probably. Just carry on for next week. That makes sense. Uh, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Then maybe we'll start to see sort of where the title picture goes because Finn Balor's going to be in, pretty much in limbo at the minute since. Yeah. Same with Joe. Um, you know, and everyone else. Yeah, pretty much. So obviously we've got a going to have NXT now without Baron Corbin, without the Vaude Villains, without Enzo and Cass. Yeah. Um, without Cruz. And, you know, so it'll be, mm. it shakes up the pack a little bit. It does. Hopefully, um, uh, hopefully uh, it's time we'll be back soon. He's been gone for a good while. He's been gone for ages. Yes. Yeah, he's got to be back soon, surely. I hope so. Yeah. But, um, we'll, we'll, I mean, when NXT gets back to normal, we'll sort of go into it a bit more. 
Yeah. Um, I spoke to somebody over the weekend who listens to the show and uh, he said that they would like us to hear us talk about NXT more. Okay. Um, so when there is stuff to talk about on NXT, gladly we will talk about NXT. Yeah. Um, we'll do another podcast next week, mm-hmm. um, building up to payback. Okay. And then we'll do um, our predictions show. Okay. And then we'll do a podcast after payback. Okay, sounds good. Just to keep the momentum going a bit. Yeah, for sure. So, um, yeah, so we've got some more content coming. We've got some uh, uh, indie games to do Let's Plays and reviews of. Yep, yep. Which is something that we're going to start doing, which is good. Yep, coming soon. Uh, So thank you to uh, anybody who has sent us codes, review codes to play with. Yes, definitely. Thank you a lot. Looking forward to that. Yes. Um, they'll, They'll be coming in sort of going forward. Yeah, that'll be coming soon. Yeah, um, we're going to do some more Let's Plays, um, just the random games, uh, especially now I've got our hands on the Dreamcast. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm going to carry on with my WWE 2K16 career mode. Awesome. Um, yeah, we'll do some more live streams and stuff going forward. Cool. Uh, loads of games to play. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Loads of content coming, as always. We I know we sit here and promise it, but we do <laughs> we do try and deliver as much as we possibly can. We can. Um Thanks to everybody who sort of tweets us and gets involved in stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Much appreciated. Love hearing from you. Yes. Uh, Always. (laughs) Um, We'll maybe even get friends of the show back to uh, do the prediction show because that was good fun last time. It was. It was great. Yeah, it was really good fun. So we'll do that again as well. Um, And they love doing it as well. Yeah, great. Awesome. Yeah. So go follow us on Twitter uh, at SunnyFinPC. Yep. Go uh, follow us on Instagram, which Mm -hmm. we'll start using more. Yeah. Um, I think that is Sunny Finn PC as well. Yep. Go find us on Facebook. There is a link on our Twitter page to our Facebook page that I put on the other day. And we did get people liking it off that, I believe. Cool. Which is good. But it, it is impossible to get off the ground without paying for it. <laughs> yeah, Facebook is the worst. Yeah, it's, it's very difficult. So bear with us with that. Um, but mainly we're, we use Twitter. and uh, Twitter is main, mainly to follow. Yeah. If you're... As far as communicating with us directly goes. Yeah, for sure. Um YouTube obviously is a big yep. platform for us. Uh, you'll be able to hear our audio version of this as well as <laughs> the video version of this on YouTube. The video version of this will be on YouTube. Yep. The audio aspect will be on iTunes, Stitcher, yep. SoundCloud. Yep, that's it. Anywhere else? I think so. Sure, put it on there if you like. <laughs> if I can figure it out, I'll put it on there. Anywhere that podcasts can be listened to. Yes. Um, we'll try and get it out as much as we can. That's the best <laughs> way to get, get this going, right? Yeah, for sure. So for now, uh, I'm Sunny. And I'm Finn. And uh, thank you for listening to episode 9 of our podcast. Thank you much. Uh, We'll be back with episode 10 next week. Yes. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank you much. Goodbye. Bye.